This is the word of God. Amen. Amen. God's word teaches us, instructs us, heals us, delivers us. You can go on and on saying the goodness of God's word. So at this time, I'd like to present our pastor, Dr. Harold Durham, to preach the word. Come on, to say, preach the word, pastor. Preach the word, pastor. Amen. Can you put your hands together one more time and just amen, give God praise? Amen. There's nothing like the presence of the Lord. And everybody doesn't experience the presence of the Lord. That's why it's important that you be filled with the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Uh, oftentimes, uh, people feel God's presence, but it's like sitting by the fire. You can feel the warmth, but God wants to live in you. And if you will allow him, the Bible tells us that it's a gift that God gives uh, to every man, that it's available to you. Now, some will tell you that, uh, you, you know, it, it was in the apostles' days, but God is still filling people with the baptism of the Holy Ghost today. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. The Bible says that he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And, and, and so, he is the same. And today, if you want to be filled with the baptism of the Holy Ghost, it's yours for the asking. But God will give you a sign that you know that he is living in you. The Bible says uh, that in John 4, 24, that God is the spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. And in Acts 2 and 4, it says that they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. And begin to speak with other tongues as the Spirit of God gave the utterance. The gift is for you today. Amen. We want to give honor to the awesome God that we serve. And to the very fine and distinguishing uh, First Lady, uh, Dr. Shirley Durham. And to all of God's precious people. For those that are viewing this telecast, we ask you to like and share. Amen. I want to ask you to turn with us in your Bibles to uh, Psalms 112. We're living in uh, a time of uncertainty. Uh, the stock market is up and down. The economy uh, has a question mark behind it. Many jobs are, uh, are, are you, you know, up and down. Don't know if they're going uh, to survive, but God is a sure thing. And, and so, looking at uh, Psalms 112, uh, it says, beginning with verse 1, Praise ye the Lord. Blessed is the man that feareth the Lord, that delighted greatly in his commandments. His seed shall be mighty upon the earth. The generations of the upright shall be blessed. Wealth and riches shall be in his house. And his righteousness endureth forever. Unto the upright there arise light in darkness. Did you get that? Even though there's darkness all around you, amen, you're going to be illuminated with light. Amen. Because of your righteousness. Amen. A good man showeth favor and lendeth. He will guide his affairs with discretion. Surely he shall not be moved forever. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. He shall not be afraid of evil tidings. 
His heart is fixed, trusting in the Lord. His heart is established. He shall not be afraid until he see his desire upon his enemy. He has dispersed, he has given to the poor. His righteousness endureth forever. His horn shall be exalted with honor. The wicked shall see it and be grieved. He shall gnash with his teeth and melt away the desires of the wicked shall perish. I want to talk to you uh, this morning uh, from the subject and just look at your neighbor and, and tell them the secret of a blessed man. The secret of a blessed man. Amen. The secret of a blessed man. And I, I just couldn't stop there. Uh, and, and so the subtopic, look at your other neighbor and tell them don't trade in your gold medal. Don't trade in your gold medal. Uh, as the first lady said, you'll get that on the way home. <laughs> Amen. Don't trade in your gold medal. Amen. Father, we bless you and we thank you for being such an awesome God. We thank you, God, because there's nobody like you. And we pray even now, God, as your word goes forth, that it goes forth with clarity and with understanding. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You may be seated. Certainly as we examine uh, this psalm on today, uh, the writer has found out that Serving the Lord will pay off. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, after a while. Because it, it, it's like many things. When, when you're in pain and you take medicine, uh, it doesn't uh, do it immediately. It's a process. Well, it, it's the same thing with serving God. Uh, that, that when you serve God... Uh, God is looking uh, for faithfulness. God wants to know, can I trust you? Uh, can I depend on you? Uh, will you represent me well? Because many people are representing, but, but, but they're not representing well. Somebody say, help the Lord Jesus. Help the Lord Jesus. Amen. And, 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 and so I, I, I want to start out by reminding uh, us as the people of God that there's a danger in, in man uh, in, in compromising trying to please uh, two masters uh, look up your name and tell them it's impossible Amen. And, but, but, but many times uh, we want to be friends with this person and that person. Uh, amen. And, and, and we know that they're not lining up with the principles uh, of the Word of God. Uh, well, listen, there, there are, amen, some people that you've got to get out of your life. Uh, one preacher said it like this. He said, get the lot out of your life. Because Lot was not a part uh, of God's plan, and, uh, but 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 sometimes uh, we 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 feel obligated. Uh, but but look at your neighbor now and tell him God knows what He's doing. Uh, see see you're going through some unnecessary things uh, because you got people uh, in your life, uh, and man, they're, they're, they're not pumping you up. Uh, they're pulling you down. Uh, they're slowing you down. Uh, they're dragging you through the mud uh, when it was never God's plan uh, for you to be in the blood. Uh, amen. I, I, I want to talk to you, uh, amen, about the secret of the blessing. You, you see, the danger of compromising is this, that the unbelieving world, uh, amen, can 
can, can no longer see Christ, uh, but it, it does see those uh, who bear his name uh, and call themselves Christians. Uh, amen. I, I want you to pause and think for a moment. Uh, amen. Can they see God in your life, uh, in your actions, in your behavior? Or is there a question mark? Uh, because we're so concerned uh, about trying to be accepted uh, by those who don't care anything about us. Uh, trying to impress people. Uh, amen. That you care and don't even know if you exist. Uh, amen. Trying to please people of the amen that mean you no good uh, amen can they see Christ in you uh, amen and so as a Christian uh, amen what does the world see uh, when it looks at you do they see Christ? Uh, uh, do they see you trying to be like the latest fad? Uh, amen. Because uh, there are some fads out there. Uh, amen. That, that makes folks look uh, amen, like they have no sense. Uh, amen. And you're paying top dollar. Uh, amen. Now y'all excuse me. Uh, amen. But I, I don't understand uh, why you're going to pay all of this money. Amen. For jeans all cut up. Uh, Amen. Uh, amen. Good money. Duh, duh. And you got a dress. Uh, amen. As my mother-in-law would say, with not enough material on it. Uh, amen. But, but you're paying good money for it. Uh, the devil will have you looking like a clown. Uh, amen. And parading around and think you got it going on. Uh, amen. But if you were king's kid, uh, look at your name and tell him that the king uh, has orders. You're not coming to the king's court looking uh, any kind of way. Uh, you're not coming uh, to the king talking about yeah, da, 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 da. no baby. Uh, you got to get your best English. Uh, amen. You got to put on your best presentation. Uh, and so when the world looks at us as Christians, uh, what do they see? Uh, do they see a confused person uh, that, that has said that Christ is in your life? Uh, or do they see somebody that has order, that, that knows that their destiny and their purpose uh, is to be great uh, because God is great in their lives. Uh, oh, I hear somebody say, you didn't have to go there. Yes, I did. Uh, and I brought my King James with me this morning. Uh, don't you remember uh, when the children of Israel got in trouble uh, uh, and they went into captivity? Uh, the Bible says uh, that that, that that the king uh, seen those three uh, Hebrew boys uh, in Daniel that there was something different about them. Uh, there was a distinction uh, and they pulled them out uh, and they put them in high places. Uh, well, um, uh, when the favor of God is on your life, uh, amen, somebody is going to see that illumination in your life uh, and Somebody's going to realize, uh, amen, that why am I living like this uh, when I can have the joy of the Lord down uh, in my heart? Oh, I, I want to remind you, does, does, it, does it see Christ? Do they see Christ in you? Uh, or, or do we fail, uh, amen, uh, in our testimony for him because uh, we have compromised uh, in our personal lives. Uh, and you know what folks say? Don't nobody know. Uh, 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 you, you know, I'm not a church, but you know what? Somebody's always watching you. Uh, and I don't care where you go. Uh, amen. Uh, somebody knows you. Uh, amen. Uh, uh, first lady was in uh, Atlanta, Georgia one time uh, uh, for a conference or something, uh, and, and somebody said, I know you, uh, you're from Texas, uh, I, I've went places and people say, I know you preacher, I'm thinking like, who are you? And so why you think nobody knows you? Uh, can I remind you that the eye of the Lord uh, uh, everywhere beholding the evil in the good. Uh, and if you really want to be blessed of God, uh, look up your neighbor and say, tighten up. Uh, amen. Get it right. Uh, 
hours. Uh, it's too late in the day uh, to be paying patty cake with your salvation. Uh, because folks are dying every day. Uh, not just the old folks, but the young folks uh, and the in-between folks. Uh, and, 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 and so, as Christians, we are called to holy follow God. Uh, what do you mean holy? Preacher, all of you. Uh, amen. Not, not just your dress. Uh, not just your behavior. Uh, amen. But your lifestyle, your talent, your treasure. Uh, all of you uh, belongs to God. Uh, the songwriter said, I owe it all to the Lord. Uh, everything I got, everything I am, uh, everything I will be, uh, I owe it all to the Lord. Because sometimes we get it mixed up and we think uh, because we have a measure of success that it's us that's doing it. Uh, amen. I hate to disappoint you. Uh, if God didn't open up your understanding, uh, you couldn't pass the test uh, to get that piece of paper. Uh, if God didn't touch the heart uh, of your employer, uh, you wouldn't have got the job. But, uh, amen. If, if God, uh, amen, wasn't in it, um, uh, you wouldn't have had it. Uh, and so it's not you, uh, but it's the God that in you uh, that's making the difference uh, in your life and in your situation. Uh, now we make plans, uh, but God has uh, the final say so. Amen. Because a wise man, uh, amen, is always going to plan. Uh, you can learn a lesson from the end. Uh, you've got to prepare, uh, amen, for the rainy days. Uh, you've got to prepare, uh, amen, for the unexpected. Uh, but just remember uh, that God is the one uh, that grants the favor. You, 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 you see, when we follow God, it, it's not just with our lips alone, God, amen, but it's with our whole being. Uh, Christ has called us uh, to be his own uh, without reservation. Uh, there's no hesitation. Uh, he said, you belong to me. Uh, and he didn't stutter when he said it. Uh, come on, look at your neighbor and tell him, you belong to God. Oh, I know you try to squirm out of it, but, but baby, uh, when you belong to God, listen, 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 my brothers and sisters, uh, you're going to come around uh, sooner or later. Uh, amen. But look at your name and tell you're going to mind somebody. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I bet I'm wrong, yeah, but you're going to mind somebody. Uh, amen. And, and, and if God has to spank you, uh, whoa unto you. Uh, it, it would be better for you to take heed uh, to the warnings because God doesn't let anything uh, come as a surprise. Uh, God is talking uh, but here's the question. Uh, are you listening? You've been robbing God for years uh, and then out of the same mouth praying for God uh, and asking him to bless you. You know what he said? Why are you praying the minute? You're cursing God, but you want God to bless you. And, and, and I know the first thing y'all think about is money, but your ragged life. Amen. It's an insult to God uh, because he said, now unto him that is able to keep you uh, and to present you faultless, uh, straighten up your life. Get the wrong right in your life. But what did he say? He said, I can make the crooked straight. But see, you don't want to get straight. You want to ride on the fence. You keep riding on the fence and, 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 and watch, you're going to get caught up. And, and, and when you try to run, guess what? You, you got caught up and now the enemy has snatched you when you didn't have to go out like that. But, but because you keep trying to ride the fence. Amen. But, but, but see, when we compromise with Satan, we find ourselves uh, treading on very dangerous grounds. Because the Bible says that the devil comes to kill, 
steal, and to destroy. See, he don't care nothing about you. You know what? He'll use you up and then make sure that you're not going to get to heaven. No, he'll take your life. You ought to stay inside the circle. Amen. Because the protection is inside the circle. Amen. Now, 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 you, you know, the Bible tells us in Numbers chapter 6, verses 24 through 25, that the Lord bless you and keep you. Uh, amen. The Lord make his face shine uh, upon you and be gracious unto you. It's God's will to bless you. But, it, it, you know, if you want him to bless you, then you've got to be committed to him. You got to do it his way. You, you see, every day, yeah, he, he, man, I, I feel it is a blessing from God, and I consider it a new day. He, man, yeah, every day is beautiful. He, man, now, now that's a quote. Amen. Uh, from uh, one that's gone on uh, by the name of Prince. He, he realized that every day, yeah, amen, is uh, a blessed day from God. Uh, and, and, and you know, as believers, uh, if anybody ought to know that, we ought to know that, that if God wakes you up, uh, amen, and you know, if you got an author and you didn't invite him, how many know that arthritis comes without an invitation? You, 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 you know, you lay down feeling good. And I got the joy of the Lord down in my soul. And, and you go, oh, 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 oh. You didn't invite it. How many know you don't have to invite God? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, you got your little sodic nerve. You, you didn't invite that pain, did you? Oh, uh huh. Yeah, you, you didn't invite that migraine, it just showed up. Mm -hmm. and, well, you, you know what? The, the only sure thing is God. And, and, and He tells you that I'm a healer, I'm a deliverer. He, man, I can set you free. See, see, the writer wants us to know that life is not always easy to live. That's a reality. Just because you're in the church doesn't mean that you're exempt from the troubles and the cares uh, of this life. Uh, but here's the good news. Uh, that if you trust in God, uh, God will see you through. Uh, God will bring you out on top uh, because he's already declared in his way, in his word, uh, that we are the heads and not the tail. Uh, we are the lenders and not the barriers. Uh, amen. But, but see, you got to get your ragged life together. You slipping and sliding and thinking nobody knows, but, but believe me, God. Uh, amen. Believe me. Amen. God knows. Uh, and, and not only does God know, uh, some of the people of God know. Uh, and, and, and sometimes people don't understand spiritual gifts. Uh, amen. Because God will show you something uh, about somebody. But, and, and then you say, well, you know, the Lord showed me. Well, he showed you to pray. He didn't show you the gossip. Uh, Somebody say, help me, Lord Jesus. Uh, I, I, I know you thought he showed you the gossip, but, but, but he showed you. Uh, he meant to pray and to intercede uh, for your brother and your sister. He meant because if God showed you, that's God's mercy and grace at work. Uh, trying to give your brother and sister another opportunity to get it right. Uh, because if God had to come in, uh, it's not going to be nice. You know how your parents talk to you. Boy, if I have to come in there, it's not going to be nice. And, and, you, and you knew then, you better get yourself together. You better learn some hush mouth grapes. My mother used to say, act like you like it, even if you don't. Yes, man. Four feet eleven, but she carried a mean stick. She had to look up at me, but she said, act like you're like it. Yes, ma'am. 
Man, you in my house, you do things my way. You don't like my rules, that's the highway. Ah! Yes, yes, ma'am. You been here at 10 o'clock at 9.59, here I am. But it gave me some motivation to get my own address. <laughs> you grown, you got me. But listen, y'all talking. You, you, you know, but I'm on a I'm on a fixed budget right now. I, you know, I, I, I need this place, okay? Uh, you, you, you know, she's not charging me that much. And you know, I, I don't understand. I, I'm going to get to the message here today, but this is an SOS. I, I don't understand why children think that if you still home with mom and daddy, it, it, man, that you, you shouldn't contribute to the bottom line. Because you can't go living nowhere else for uh, the three coins that you're trying to give. Somebody say, help me, Lord Jesus. You know, what, what, what do you mean, preacher? If mom and daddy, well, they've given to you for 20 plus years. Uh, now it's time for you to pour back into them. You, 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 you know what I like about my kids? They, they send me gift cards. Uh, I, I, I told Irving I wanted this. Why? He just took it off and said, here you go. God, all I have to do is ask. Mm. <laughs> Man, you, you know, and, 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 and they all come back and say, we thought you was tough, but you know, you prepared us. And, and, and you know, that's what God is doing. God, he's trying to prepare us. You've got to understand that if you're going to be the blessed man uh, of the blessed woman of God, uh, you're not going to be liked by everybody. Uh, get that little chip off of your shoulder. Uh, there's a price to pay uh, for the anointing of God uh, that rests on your life. Uh, if you've got to put all that around. Uh, woe is me, Jeremiah. Uh, dry up your tears uh, and get yourself together. Mm, don't nobody like me. Well, oh, okay, just as long as you sweet as honey. You know, you're not cantankerous and meaner than a rattlesnake. Somebody said, yes, the Lord. Jesus. That, that wasn't what I wanted to say. My preacher told me I can't talk like that. So. Amen. Amen. But, 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 you know, you be an example of what a blessed man or a blessed woman is. And so when we understand that life is not always easy, amen, but, but the opportunity to do so is a blessing beyond comprehension. If, if God allows you to wake up and make it through the day, God's got a plan for your situation. Oh, amen. You, you can be confident that, 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 that if he wakes you up, he's not going to leave your hand. Oh, are, 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 are there any witnesses in here that know that God won't leave your hand? Now, now he, he may wait to 11, 59 and a half, but he's going to come through. <laughs> He's mad because sometimes you, you know, you, the uh, uh, Lord, he said, listen, I got this. He said, I, I, if I can speak the heavens in, into existence, your situation is no big thing. He, he, he said, if I'm powerful enough to separate the light from the darkness, he said, it's no big thing. Uh, now, now, when you go to the beaches, have you ever noticed, uh, it meant that the water, they only come up so far, and then they go back. You know why? Because God's got them on a boundary. And if God got them on a boundary, if you're blessed, uh, you got to have some boundaries. Uh, because if you don't have boundaries, uh, then you have chaos. Uh, amen. If you don't have boundaries, uh, you let anybody and everybody in your life, uh, amen, and then they contaminate you. Uh, you've got to be careful about the anointing uh, that's on you. God pulled you out for a reason. He's got a purpose and a plan for your life. Uh, and, 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 and you know what? You, you may not be able to see it, but the devil recognizes that something 
different about you. He, he realizes uh, that you are a threat to his kingdom. Uh, and so you know what? If he can get you to compromise, uh, if he can get you to take down, guess what? He said, well, I got nothing over here. The Bible calls it the Laodicean church. Uh, they wasn't cold and they wasn't hot. They were just chill. And that's how some of us are. We just chill. And then we're wondering why we're not really blessed. We're not blessed because we're chilling, God. Amen. If you really want God to bless you, uh, you got to spend some time on your knees. Uh, amen. If you really want God to bless you, uh, you, you got to pray and say, Lord, you said in your word uh, that a good many steps are ordered by the Lord. Amen. And so when we really, really understand, Amen. That in this life uh, of, of the process of living, uh, amen, that we're going to face some struggles. That's the reality, uh, amen, because the Bible says many are the afflictions of the righteous. It says, but the Lord delivered them out of all of them. And so God's going to deliver you, uh, but don't start compromising. Uh, don't start cheating. Uh, don't start lying. Uh, trust God uh, to bring you out because he's a faithful God. You, you see, when we look at uh, the Jewish uh, culture, uh, the Jews carried much of their history uh, and, and national culture and spiritual heritage in their minds. It was passed down from one to another. It wasn't until opposition came uh, that they decided that maybe we need to put this in the book because all of our history is in the minds of a few rabbis. Amen. And, 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 then, and then that's when they started to write things down because uh, the rabbis memorized uh, the whole thing. And, and there were some, some child prodigies that, 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 that every day they were going and they were memorizing the scripture. And, and they knew it from front to back and from back to front side to side, up and down, in and out, because that was the way that they were equipped. Uh, when I first got saved, uh, the uh, I, I, I didn't fool with the young folks, because uh, in, in my opinion, they, they were still acting like they wasn't saved. I was serious about my salvation, and so I, I, I got with the preachers, and a lot of those preachers had me in those long fasts, and we were memorizing chapters. And, and, and if you miss one word, they said, ah, it's wrong. Start all over again. And, 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 and they taught me to memorize the word with accuracy. Well, you got to put some time in the word if you want God to give you revelation. Well, I just wait for the preacher, no, baby. You, you, some things you need to know for yourself. And, and, and so, doing, doing much of the history, the Jews also not only memorized the scripture, but other sacred literatures. Now, now, now this is why poetry is so popular in the Bible. Amen. Because uh, when they wrote it, they, they wrote it in a certain order, and, and they used all 22 alphabets in the Hebrew language, uh, and each line started with a new alphabet, uh, and, and so they had it done systematically. And, and, and so most of what we get from the Bible, it, it, it comes from plain hard work. Mental slowfulness never leads to illumination. You know, there are some folks that are on the dean list. You know what? Because they got a good study ethic. And, 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 and you know, we need to be on God's dean's list. That means we need to stay in that word. Because if you stay in it, God's going to open up things to you. So when we pay the price 
for this intense reading and meditation in the scripture and we do our homework, study the written and, 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 and the teaching of, of, of whom the Holy Spirit has illuminated and, and gifted them, the Holy Spirit then will illuminate you. Now, now you, you, you know, you can always tell when somebody's been in the Word. You, you know, or they're just shooting from the hip. Now, now you, 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 you know, one, one thing about preachers' wives. If the preacher didn't study, y'all may say amen, but that wife would say, did you? Did you study? <laughs> amen, because, you, you know, uh, uh, you, you, you know, the preacher's wife is the one that's going to get all the comments. You're not going to say anything to the preacher, but he preached that last week. Mm. You, 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 you know, but, but, but when you study, amen, then you will be illuminated. God will show you things. He'll show you the blessing, amen, of being a blessed person in him. Because there is a blessing, amen, in being uh, in God. And, 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 and so, when, when, when people begin uh, uh, to change their life, man, it, it is common for them to experience some resistance from unsupported people in their lives. You, you know, when, when you start doing right and, and you've been hanging with people that, 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 that still don't have a motivation to do right, you're going to get some resistance. It's part of the course. But I can tell you that if you stick with God, uh, God will bless you. And so a person who, de who, who decides to stop drinking and living a life of promiscuity, amen, for instance, may get confronted with disbelief and mockery. Oh, you, you went over there, you got, you, you got high and you got scared. And so you went to the church and now you got religion. We're we, we going to give you six weeks. And it's been 20 years now. You're like, I guess they was for real. But, but, but whenever you decide to change your life, you've got to expect resistance. It is part of it. And, 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 and so the secret of the blessed man, uh, it, it, it has a twofold secret. Number one, he loves the Lord. You first of all, he loves God unconditionally. Amen. And so the Bible says, "Praise ye the Lord," or Hallelujah. Blessed is the man that feareth the Lord. Now, the last verse of Psalms one eleven says, "The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom." This psalm picks up, Amen, and expands that thought. Now, although human beings uh, look everywhere for happiness, amen, the secret of happiness is simple. Blessed or happy is a person who fears the Lord. It, it's so simple that it goes over everybody's head. It, 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 man, that that, that, that when, 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 when we remember the sad conclusion of the book of Ecclesiastic, it, it, it was a wail of despair over his wasted life that, that, that Solomon said, a man that in his thoughts that he gave himself to wisdom and the accumulation of knowledge. He, he sought understanding from God and became a man whose Wisdom was a proverbial even in his own day, but that did not make Solomon happy. You, you know, some people got all the toys in the world, and they're still not happy. Because toys won't make you happy. Money won't make you happy. Uh, and, 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 you, you know, but, but, but Solomon said, look, I, I got the wealth, I got everything, and I'm looking for happiness. Well, I, I, I need to tell you that real happiness, then Solomon said, well, maybe I can get my happiness in thrills. People spend a lifetime trying to be entertained 
only to find out that the entertainment is just for a moment. Amen. And, and so when, when he decided uh, or, or thought that he could find happiness in his thrills, so he dedicated himself to pleasure. He tried everything that he could buy, that money could buy. And, and, and you know, some of us, God has blessed us with uh, a few dollars that are disposable. You know, that's the extra income. And, and, and you know, the, you, you know the, the latest and greatest toy, here we go. And you know what Solomon had to conclude? I'm still not happy. And, and so then Solomon said, well, maybe I, I can find my happiness in things. So uh, he, he went in for making money. He became a merchant prince. We were agents trading on the market of the world for new and exotic things. Solomon was so successful, a man, that he even had pots and pans in the palace kitchen that were made of gold. And, and, and this did not make him happy either. Think about it. The pots and the pans. He, he, he drank around with pure gold. And he was still not happy. And so at the end of the book, he says, uh, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. He said, fear God and keep his commandment. For this is the whole duty of man in Ecclesiastes 12 and 12. That was the way he had originally started out, amen, when he was a young man himself. But somehow, he got off the gold standard. Uh-oh. Somehow, we, we started out right, but, 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 but now, like Solomon, uh, we were settling, uh, e e e e e amen, for useless allies of the world. Uh, it, it, it cost him his kingdom, it cost him his throne, and it cost him his crown, uh, all because uh, he got off the gold standard. Uh, can I tell you, God is uh, the gold standard. Uh, and if you really want to be blessed, uh, you got to put God first. And so here's the secret to the blessed man. He loves the Lord. Now, when, when the term is applied to the people of God, the, the fear of God is never a slavish term or a slaveless fear. It, it, man, it, it is a reverential awe that draws out it, 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 man, the people of God. Amen. It, it, it draws out the heart in wonder, in love, and in praise. I, I, I love God so much uh, that I want to please Him. I, I love God so much uh, that I want to worship Him. I, I love God so much uh, that I want to tell somebody else, uh, come see a man. Uh, a man that has changed my life. Uh, he, he's turned my life upside down. Uh, I thought I was happy, uh, yeah. but when I found Jesus, I, I found true happiness and lasting happiness. Uh, amen. See, people look for happiness, uh, the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, uh, but they never find it. Uh, amen. They must follow the bend uh, of the rainbow uh, until it reaches its highest arc. Uh, and then look up. Uh, happy is the man uh, that feareth God. Uh, it, 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 man, it, 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 it is not the things of this world, material things of the age, uh, that's going to give you real happiness. Amen. And, and, and so it, it's about our relationship with the Lord. Uh, amen. And, and so the psalmist wrote uh, about fear of bad news. Uh, because sometimes, how I many know that the devil will play with your mind? What if things don't work out? But if you're God faithful, yes. amen. And, and, and so he, he was worried about the fear of the enemy. But if you're God, uh, he, 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 he meant the master warrior. He meant, and so look at your neighbors and what you're worried about. Uh, he meant, but, but, but you know what? In verse 8, he came back to his senses. He said, but the first and most important fear is the fear of the Lord. 
This verse takes us back to Psalms 111 and verse 10. Uh, for if we fear God, uh, we need fear nothing else. Did you get that? <laughs> uh, if you fear God, uh, you need to fear nothing else. Because God's got you covered. And, and, and so if you fear God, 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 God said, listen, you belong to me. I'm not going to let anything hurt you. Uh, I got you covered. I got your back. I got your front. I got your side. I, I got your mind. I, I got your heart. Uh, and, and so the secret of a blessed man uh, is to fear God and keep his commandments. Amen. And so, not, 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 not only that, but, but, but he says that, amen, that, that when we fear God, amen, that, 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 that we should teach our children to fear no danger, amen, when they, they, they cross the street. Or we, or we teach them to do that when to cross the street and to use sharp objects and uh, danger strangers. You're going to teach them, don't talk to strangers. Uh, but those, uh, e e man, uh, 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 but, but when it comes to God, uh, e man, we need to be energized and, and, and know that God energizes us and that God protects us. Uh, we are not to walk in fear uh, if we fear God. Now, now the, the psalmist is writing about fear that can paralyze us and make life miserable. But, 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 but to overcome these fear, he says that we have to cultivate a right relationship with God. That means you've got to be in this B-I-B-L-E every day. Because God's got something new for you every day. If you read the same chapter, guess what? God will give you something new. Every day. You don't have to take my word. Uh, try it for yourself. Uh, and you, you'll come back and say, he was right. Because God will begin to open up your understanding. Uh, one word that God may highlight to you that day. And you've read it over and over and over and over. But you've never seen it that way. Uh, that just means that you're growing in God. Because God won't give you nothing unless he can trust you. He said the secret things I, I only reveal, amen, to those that I love and those that I can trust. It's so God revealing something to you. You know what he's saying? I can trust you. Because sometimes people take the things of God and they use it for personal gain. That's a dangerous place to be in. And we use the people of God as merchandise. There's a thousand, there's a thousand, there's a thousand, there's a thousand. And you say, oh yeah, we, we, we're going to eat good today. Well, God never intended for it to be that way. You know, his, his blessings are not necessarily tied to a thousand dollar seed. Because God will speak to you on his own. And, and, and say, give a thousand. Give ten thousand. He'll speak to you. And then when, when you come to church and the preacher say it, that was God. <laughs> you, you, you know, because they, 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 there are some folks that spend all their money on material things and they'll drop two dollars in the plate. <laughs> That's a Lord love. Mm. Is that how much you love God? When the son said, do you love God? Mm -hmm. Is that how much you love him? Well, well you, 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 you know what he tells us? He says that when, when you put God first, that, that the blessings a man will start in your home. You, you know what? If, if you are living right, and, and then your kids don't have to be saved for them to respect your house. Look at all, all that rap, bop, 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 bop stuff. Yeah, no, baby, you can't play that in here. And, and, and even if you got some little habits, uh, as the old folks say, some elements, y'all know what I'm talking about. You know, you got some struggles. 
But you can't bring those struggles that go down to the park. You, you know, and, and go and spray that yourself you know, that you think that you fooling me to cover it up with. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, <laughs> so, 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 he, he, he tells us that the, the psalmist says that if you will praise the Lord in worship and stand in awe of the Lord and delight in his fellowship with the Lord and seek to obey the Lord. In other words, you got to have the desire. This kind of life brings blessings, he says, to the entire family. Because in the text we read also, and Todd's not going to let us uh, complete this. This may have to be a series. He, he meant the blessed, of the secrets of the blessed man. But, but it says in the text that not only will you be blessed, but your children will be blessed. And, and, and that riches will be a part of your inheritance. But that's when you learn how to put God first. Somebody say, help me, Lord Jesus. Now, now for, for, for those who are wondering if Pastor's is in the scripture, turn to, in, in your Bible, just noted in Psalms 34, uh, verses 8 uh, through 14. Psalms 37, verse 25. Psalms 127, and verse 3 through 5. And Psalms 128, and verse 3. So if our life does not make us, does not make an impact at home among people who we know and love, is not going to make much difference outside of the home. Think about it. If you got all of this power, why come it's not working at home? I'm going to slay the giant. Slay that demon in your own house first. Sometimes the demon is ourselves. So they turn that plate over and turn it over again and turn it over again and turn it over again and say, Lord, make me more like you. Let me seek to obey you. Lord, let me seek to be pleasing in your sight. Be, be, because, you, you know what? When we can master it at home. Now, now you, 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 you know, there, there, there are some preachers, they can squall and holler, they can entertain. But you watch that wife. And she got her head down the whole time. He ain't living nothing. He got three salads on the side, six Susies. Chaos everywhere. But living say she'll be there to support. And and and, and if if he's living right, then there ought to be some evidence. If we're living right, we ought to be producing fruit. It, it ought to bother all of us just to come to church by ourselves. And, 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 and this is a, a habit. If you've been saved more than two days and you haven't won anybody to the Lord, you need to check yourself out. You, you, you know, because your highest performance is when you first get saved. I, I, I mean, you know, you, 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 you invite everybody, even the folks you don't like. And now you just throw them in. Well, they ought to be glad to see me. God is glad to see you, but he said if you don't produce any fruit, he said he's going to hew you down and throw you in the fire. Oh, it's in your body. I called you to be a witness. I gotta stop. My time is up. You know, we got some clock watches in here too, so uh, my, my, my time is up. But uh, you, 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 you know, we can't live in isolation. In fact, we're going to win somebody. You gotta get out there and move around. 
and, and please don't take this the wrong way. You know, if you want a word match, that's fine. But but some folks are not coming to church because they say they're afraid of catching COVID, but they're at the mall, they're at the movies, they're on vacation. They got roller skating. Now, they're doing everything. I, I, I don't understand. If you can go all those places, how come you can't come to the house of God? Just bring your mind. We, <laughs> we're not going to condemn you. Amen. Wear your mask to church. Amen. There's a reason why the Bible says, forsake not the assembling of yourself together as the manner of some is. Now, what did I say in, in closing? If you fear God, you don't have to fear anything else. No weapon formed against you shall be able to prosper. It ain't say you weren't going to get sick, but it's not going to take you out. And, and so while you walk around here talking about, I don't want to die, you're not dying until God says it's time. Amen. And if you've been treating folks wrong, you're not going to get out of here, amen, with, with, without some retribution. Amen. But I ask for forgiveness, yeah, I know. I, I'm, I'm going to really close, y'all. The, the, the preacher at the council said, this is my third close, so... Uh, but I, I, I'm going to close with this in here. And, and so after a, a, after you did all of that treating folks wrong, you, you, you know, and talking about them crazy, and, and then you come back, and then you ask them to forgive you. Now, now the paper looked like this when you was acting up, okay, or, or before. And, and now you come back and you repent it. Does this paper look the same? You know, he, even though I'm going to straighten it out, what's wrong with it? It's got wrinkles in it. What, what, that, that's all that retribution. You're not going to get off scot-free. So, so you need to guard your tongue. Study to be quiet. Don't say what you want to say. Just, mm. Help me, Lord Jesus. Because once it comes out, you can't take it back. And so, you see the two? You know, as long as you were quiet, the other person was good. I just had to let them know what was on my mind. And so, baby, you're not getting out of here until you do some repay on some of the wrinkles that you cause in some folks' life. Mm -hmm. you, you're not slipping out by saying just forgive me. Mm -hmm. God says that huh, what you sow, you're going to reap. God is not mocking. In other words, don't make fun of God. Don't, don't insult God's intelligence to think that you could do wrong and then just say I'm sorry and it's over. He, no, 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 don't get me wrong. God's going to forgive you. He's already forgiven even before you ask. But, but those folks you've done wrong, you will have to feel some of that pain. You ought to make you think twice before you just, they don't know who I am. Mm -hmm. Dirt. <laughs> you came from the dirt and you're going back to the dirt. Well, I'm about to close. Anybody need Jesus today? <laughs> Maybe you got some things mixed up, twisted up, and tied up. Amen. But here's the reality that Jesus did die for your sins. And uh, you can't stoop so low that the blood of Jesus can't pick you up and put you back on the right track. You, you know, oftentimes, we, we gave our parents a hard time. And uh, did, did, didn't know that when we started a family. Because sometimes God will pay you back through your children. Mm -hmm. You keep acting up, Jew book. You keep acting up, Sarah, that's okay. 
love and the little ones come, they are gonna be tears on wheels. And how, how much all you slap on? And how much praise and worship going? Uh, you you are going to feel what you put on your parents. Yes, amen. Somebody say, help the Lord Jesus. I didn't know it was like that. My mom, I'm sorry. Daddy, I'm sorry. Lord, I'm sorry. He said, I know you won't really be sorry. And so the secret of the blessed man is to love God first and to love his word. You, you know, nobody has to motivate us to lift our hands and, and worship God if, if we love God and he's given us breath to breathe. But baby, I don't need to praise Lee. Look here. God's been too good to me. Amen. Let me show you how to praise you. Why don't you say amen? amen. Oh, no, baby. God's been too good. Amen. And, 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 and so if that's you today, you, you, you got off. As the altar workers are coming, you have an opportunity to make the wrong right again. Now God's going to tip it with grace, but, but you're not going to get off scot-free. Just, just remember that. You, you're not going to get off scot-free. The secret of a blessing man. It's your day. It's your opportunity. 